right hello frugal survivor subscribers uh and for any of you who are just tuning in for the first time this is frugal survivor i just wanted to come to you guys this evening just to pose a question uh, uh put something on your brain for you to think about um a good friend of mine uh sent me this message thursday or friday uh, I don't ever think about what I do, you know, as far as doing these videos and the content. Well, I do think about it, but I think about it in the aspect of just, you know, just something to share. But I don't think about it being a, a major impact. But the message that he left me was, it was, uh, it was good. And uh, I guess the question or the situation at hand is, how do we change? or shape our way of thinking to prepare for times like this when we're going through this uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, and not only this pandemic but also a hurricane season or it could be a, a tornado or just uh, especially where I live there could be a plant explosion you just never know when there will be an emergency so uh I guess the question that I want to bring up is what can we do to shape our way of thinking? And um, what can you do also while you're shaping your way of thinking? How can you adjust to uh, situa the situation at hand dealing with this COVID-19? And how will you be able to adjust back and remain calm all at the same time while doing this? Y'all have to excuse me if my my face and my forehead start getting kind of shiny because I'm doing this without the air conditioner on here in the in the little outside shed, so it's gonna get a little warm. I'm trying to make this quick. It probably will be quick because I'm I'm not a person of many words. So shaping your way of thinking to be ahead of the curve when times like this arise. It's kind of like when you're dealing with uh, trying to lose weight. People, you'll hear your trainer say that it's a lifestyle. The way you go out and eat, the way you exercise, and just take care of your body, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's a change. That's the same way with being prepared in this preparedness game. I don't like to call myself a prepper. I don't know, it's, it's, to me, it just seems like it's a, there's a stigmatism associated with being called a prepper. That's why initially I titled my videos just emergency preparedness. And uh, that's kind of been something that, that I've tried to stick with. So, uh, we just got to start, I guess it'll start with prioritizing. Just prioritize uh, the things that you do on a daily basis, things that you want to do with your life, I guess, and uh, just shift your focus to that. I know what, what I do and what my wife does a little bit. She's not into it. She's into it, but not like me. She, she supports what I do because there's been times that you know, she sees that what I do is important. So, uh, just when you go and make simple trips to the store. Whenever you go to the store, find something that is going to be useful to you now and later on down the line. We should have been buying canned goods 24 months ago. Why not buy four canned goods each trip to the store? That's anywhere from 50 to 90 cents per canned good. And your bags of rice. You know, just things like that. And you'll have to forgive me here if I'm kind of, if I'm not staying on the subject. I didn't really study or prepare for this. I thought about it a little bit, you know, as I was running errands, but... Like I said, I'm just trying to bring it to you raw and I just want to try to um, stay on subject. 
So if you find me repeating the the title or the subject of it, that's just to, that's just to try to help me uh, bring myself back on focus. So shaping your mind, you know, being ahead of the curve, changing your lifestyle, changing your mindset. And uh, what else? Lifestyle, mindset. And, you know, while y'all watch this, you know, you could just think to yourself, well, you know, what could I do to, to change and shape my lifestyle, my mindset? Stop. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. Excuse me. I got Sophia in here. She's down there fighting on the carpet, even though I'm going to pull this carpet up. Hey, no, ma'am. Uh, what else? I say you have to, you have to just want to enjoy what you do. Involve your family in it. Get your kids involved, your significant other involved. That's, that's kind of what you have to do. I've been blessed enough to wear, like I say, uh, my daughter, Jamaica, she loves going through the bags and building bags and going outside to to test uh, the tools or whatever we have to test. She loves doing that stuff. Uh, I say, y'all forgive me. I try to edit this out. I don't, I don't have a big time editor, so y'all forgive me on that part. I say, just start, start buying now. Don't wait. Start now. This that's like I'm a. I take it back to uh, to the weight loss and the health thing again. So I'm a sports fanatic and kind of semi healthy. You can't tell right now because I kind of been off of the game plan for a while. But your lifestyle just you you have to change, and I I want to say that's what it boils down to prioritizing what's really important. Do I want to go out and spend $120 on the new Nikes or the new Jordans or the new purse or whatever it is you fancy? Do I want to go out and spend that $120 on that one item? Or do I want to go to the store and buy some things that will help me in a emergency situation. You know, uh, we have to think about the weather patterns, the weather seasons, just, you know, and, and put that towards your preparedness. Hurricane season, you know that's coming up. You have power outages, food shortages, be traveling, hitting the road, you need generators, things like that. You know, just like when your sports season comes around, we start getting all this stuff together. You, you got to do the same thing with this, you know, preparing the situation too. Use that money to to invest. Yeah, I call it an, an investment in your preparedness. Uh, yeah, so you have your hurricane season. Like I said, where I live, we have uh, chemical refineries. Man, you never know when these refineries have a massive leak or an explosion. And we have to get up out of here. So we'll, we're prepared now to be able to go. And we try to stay prepared. The one thing I'll say about this, when this started going down, I know I've been hearing about the coronavirus, coronavirus in China and the other places. And then it started hitting, you know, the United States, a few cases. I like, okay. I started paying a little bit of attention to it. And I know one night watching the news, I told my wife, I said, hey, it was about eight o'clock. We need to go to the store right now. Boom. She didn't go. She was like, oh, I'm gonna go in the morning, but I went ahead and went. And I didn't want to wait. 
But she got up six o'clock in the morning and went ahead and went to the store and got some more stuff too. And I say that to say, you know, just to reiterate the, the preparedness, shaping your mind, thinking ahead, prioritizing. You know, you can still buy yourself nice things, just catch it on sale. And I hope I'm staying on topic for you guys. Uh, just how can we shape our mind, change our mind? That was a great topic. Roderick, I appreciate that topic, man. That was good. That's a good one. You had my wheels spinning. But I say just, it's your family too. You have to take care of your family. And then uh, I don't want to say just, um, man, just basing on, on getting out of town and backpacks. You know, this is like medical emergencies. I have uh, a couple of bags for a medical emergency, which I have to for Jamaica. She has her own diabetic bag. I forgot how old she was when I built that. She was probably she was probably about a little less than two when I started when I built her diabetic bag. I think I was she might have been younger than that because she was June. Yeah, no, it was it was she was born in June, and so she was ten months. Yeah, so she was less than two. So I had to get her bag together. And you'll see that that video, it's, it's uh, on my video timeline somewhere. Um, man, I'm really, I'm trying to stay on topic and stay focused for y'all, so just forgive me. And y'all have to excuse my chair and these bugs flying around. I got the door open because I can't turn on the air condition because it's a window unit. Yeah, man, I forgot why I started going off into that. Just have your, think about those who have illnesses. Um, you may become sick. You got to go buy that stuff. And when you buy it, you have to test your stuff. Test your gear. When I started out, I was buying a lot of my, my medicines and creams from the Dollar Tree. I mean, there... They're probably one and a half stars as far as effectiveness, but if that's all you can afford, then by all means get that. And I don't go out and buy the high dollar stuff, but if I catch it on sale, I'll get two of them. And when I first started studying this, the saying in the preparedness community was one is none, which one equals zero, and two is one which means if you have two or something, you really have one. So keep that in mind with you too. Uh, well, I might end the video here. I think I, I put enough on your mind just to give you something to think about and I hope I gave you something to think about, just changing your mindset on what we do and, and what we're focused on on a daily basis. I mean, you still go out and live your life. It's just, like I say, when you go to the store, you got to get things you need for that day or that night or whatever and get you something for your preparedness kit. It's a kit. So <clears throat> it's just balancing everything out. And I I guess I'll, I'll go back and review this video. And after watching it, if I see that it's, you know, sufficient enough, I go ahead and post it. And 
I want you guys to give me some feedback also. And I might think of something else that I missed or that I didn't cover. But y'all give me some feedback of uh, uh, what you may want me to talk about. Or if you have a question, Rock, if I miss something, uh, just hit me up and let me know. And I'll try to touch on that some more as well. But uh, just be safe. Be vigilant. Think ahead. And focus on what's really important. Like I say, I don't know if I finished this thought earlier. You can get you some nice shoes. Just get it, like I said, get it on sale. I may have said that. Get it on sale. Uh, so that's it. Thank you all for tuning in. And hope to see you guys soon. But, uh, oh, excuse my chair too. Like I said, I'm working on that. So it's all beat up. So see you guys later. What you see, Sophie? All right. <laughs>